The new moon is happening on October 25th at 6.48 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is intense and transformative with a mysterious yet magnetizing energy. Ruling the eighth house of rebirth, psychic energy, and sexuality, this new moon challenges us to get in touch with what we keep Hidden. With this new moon, we'll also have a solar eclipse which heightens this energy and opens up a portal for us to bring about radical transformation, aligning us back with our soul's mission. I'm Michelle from Chasing Solana and in this video we're talking all about the new moon in Scorpio, the numerology significance, and three things that you can do to best utilize this energy. And if you stay all the way until the end, I'll also leave you with three very powerful affirmations that you can use during this month. So if you're ready, let's dive right in. New moons are a time for manifesting. The darkness of the new moon encourages us to think about what seeds we'd like to plant that'll eventually sprout into reality. With the solar eclipse happening on the same day, the energy around the Scorpio new moon is intense. It can have us questioning whether or not we're on the path that we desire to be on. Now, Scorpio is a fixed water sign that is secretive and tends to keep emotions hidden. Scorpio's emotions can be so intense that it would rather keep those emotions on the down low just because of the degree of power that the emotions hold. As a water sign, Scorpio is fluid and intuitive, yet its fixed nature leads to stubbornness and inflexibility, creating a sort of dichotomous energy. In Vedic astrology, Scorpio is ruled by Mars, and in Western astrology, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Mars is the planet of courageous action, raw and potent energy, and sexuality. Pluto's energy, on the other hand, is tied to the unknown, rebirth, and power. It's a regenerative planet that enables healing on generational levels through the purging of old programs and belief systems installed in the collective consciousness throughout generations. Pluto leads to transcendence. As I mentioned earlier, Scorpio rules the eighth house. Along with metamorphosis and the occult, the eighth house also represents inheritances, taxes, and shared assets. The eighth house brings with it death and resurrection, making this new moon ideal for manifesting powerful transformations around what tends to hide in the dark, like shadowed emotions, taboo beliefs, sexuality, finances, and our sense of power. October 25th, 2022 reduces down to the number five. In numerology, five typically represents freedom and change. The five energy opposes restriction and thrives with adventure. Five is ruled by Mercury, which contributes to its profound communication skills and intellect. With that being said, this powerful new moon and solar eclipse energy supports us in going into the depths of our mind all the way to the subconscious to transform outdated programs and beliefs and to free the hidden thoughts and desires within the depths of our soul, helping us to cultivate a space of acceptance for our heart's desire, sexual nature, and inner feelings. Now, if your energy has been scattered, this is the perfect time for you to call your power back. Demolish the habits that have led to scattered energy or misalignment with your soul, and to courageously transcend into an individual who uses the power of their mind, feelings, and intuition to manifest their desired reality. When the moon is in Scorpio, it's considered to be debilitated. However, during this time, our intuition is strengthened and we have more clarity around our passions and our dreams. What we've subconsciously repressed is now easily accessed and we have the power to make major transformations in all areas of our life, especially whichever house that Scorpio resides in, in your natal chart. A Scorpio new moon also supports the healing of any blocked emotions and perceived limitations so that you can regenerate your authentic power. Now that we have some background on the Scorpio N5 energy, let's talk about the three ways that you can best utilize this energy during this new moon and solar eclipse. First, speak authentically. Sometimes we refrain from saying how we truly feel or from expressing our genuine thoughts. There are many things that we may wish to say, but choose not to for various reasons. 
Sometimes it's because we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or maybe we're afraid that if we say how we truly feel, we would be abandoned. Or it can be because we haven't yet cultivated the strength or confidence to be our authentic selves. With the five energy combined with the scorpionic energy, now is the time to find your inner power and to say all the things that you've let go unsaid. If there's anyone in your life who you feel that you can't be your authentic self with for any reason, find the courage to show up authentically the next time that you're with them. They may be surprised at your newfound power. Remember, this is a season of rebirth. Free yourself from worrying about what others may think about you if you show up as your truest self. Speak your mind without the need to protect someone's feelings and give whatever emotions that have been repressed life by acknowledging them and transcending them into productive energy. Next, Break generational cycles with inner healing. Pluto has the power to bring major transformation when it comes to generational trauma. During this new moon, commit to doing the inner work in an effort to stop those unhealthy patterns that have been passed on from generation to generation. Epigenetics lets us know that trauma can be passed down through our DNA. Think about what negative core beliefs have been embedded into you that cause you to repeat history. What beliefs have you inherited from your parents? What wounds have been passed down to you, causing you to stay stuck in a familial pattern that does not serve you? This can be trauma or negative beliefs about sex and relationships, finances, or having individual power. Are you stuck in a poverty conscious mindset causing you to believe that there is a ceiling to what you can achieve or how much money you can earn? Were you told that sex is bad and now you have shame-based beliefs about it? Are there any fears that you've adopted that cause you to live in a fear-based reality? What is it that prevents you from breaking the cycle and changing your mindset about these things? How can you reframe your mindset and change it into something that is more aligned with who you are. Use the energy of the solar eclipse and Scorpio new moon to radically transform those outdated generational programs. Replace them with new empowering thoughts and beliefs that support you in living a joyous life filled with freedom and adventure. Finally, commit to changing one thing about yourself that's holding you back. The theme of transformation is prominent during this time. With this new moon and solar eclipse, assess all of the things that you'd like to improve about yourself and then choose one thing that you feel that you can successfully commit to shifting. The Scorpio and Pluto energy keeps things hidden in the dark. With awareness, we can use light to transmute darkness. When you know better, you do better so long as you choose to. Cultivate freedom from that one thing that has kept you stagnant and unable to move forward in the direction of your dreams. What has held you back from following your passion? What has kept you stuck in the same place for as long as you can remember? What is preventing you from living a life that is filled with adventure? For example, do you make excuses for the reasons why your life isn't as you envision it to be? Do you find that you have trouble taking responsibility and grabbing life by the horns, directing it in the direction that you wish for it to go? Maybe you've wanted to quit smoking but haven't because you find that it's the one thing that regulates your emotions and therefore you continue. Whatever it is, Make a commitment to alter the path that you're currently on and align with the path that you've been dreaming of walking. Plant the seed of metamorphosis to become the butterfly that you've been waiting to evolve into. Now that you've made it to the end, here are the affirmations for the Scorpio new moon and solar eclipse. I align with my soul through harnessing my inner power. I am transforming into exactly who I am meant to be. The cycle of generational trauma ends with me. The energy during this new moon and solar eclipse is so intense. We might feel uncomfortable as we address what we typically keep hidden, but working through the discomfort will bring rebirth and relief. Sit with all of the feelings that come up instead of shoving the dark ones back down. Accept them, then transmute them into energy that can empower you. That's my take on the Scorpio new moon. 
I hope you found this video helpful and that everything that you manifest comes to fruition. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone else, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that we can stay connected. I'm sending you love and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching and until the next sunrise or sunset, Namaste.